Central serous retinopathy, effective nutritional management. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, a condition of the eye called central serous retinopathy is quite a serious condition of the eye. It primarily affects males between the age of 20 and 50 years old, but on occasion women can develop it as well. And what happens in this condition is fluid sort of leaks into the space underneath the retina of the eye and distorts the shape. So this area is known as the macula and it's where the clarity of vision occurs. And so when you distort the shape of the macula, you start to get blurred vision. Usually it only happens in one eye. And in recent years, you know, they started to look at, you know, why do some people develop it more than others? And one of the culprits here is high cortisone levels. So we know that people who have been prescribed drugs that where there is cortisone, like, you know, or cortisone-like drugs, these like prednisone and, and cortisone-related drugs, has been shown to be a trigger for the disease. It may aggravate an existing condition or cause it to relapse. People that have a health condition known as Cushing syndrome where they naturally secrete higher amounts of cortisone are also more likely to develop central serous retinopathy. Now, with the way a lot of us end up with higher cortisol levels is from stress. Part of the stress response when we're under acute or chronic stress, the adrenal glands pump out a lot of cortisone. And so some people develop central serous retinopathy just because they're not handling stress that well. So, you know, what do these people do? Well, meditation, yoga, very good. Anything you can do to bring the stress levels down. But there are certain supplements that will help to suppress the secretion of cortisone from the adrenal glands. And these supplements are known as adaptogens. The ones I really like are rhodiola, schisandra, and ashwagandha because they decrease the output of uh, cortisol from the uh, adrenal glands. And there are some other uh, herbs that do the same thing, but they come with some adverse side effects that I don't like. So I like rhodiola, schisandra, and, and ashwagandha. And then the thinking is that giving these patients also antioxidants that have been shown to be helpful in macular degeneration and cataracts like lutein and zeaxanthine and, and a high potency multivitamin that has extra vitamin C and vitamin E and selenium, beta carotene and zinc, probably a good idea in the long term management. So you can read, I have a review article on this that you should read. If you know, if you know someone or if you have uh, central serous retinopathy yourself, you should review the article that I have. It's called Central Serous Retinopathy, Common Causes Presentation and Adjunctive Nutritional Management. Very important to understand the nutritional management component because a lot of medical doctors don't pass this along to you. So you'll see all the scientific references are there so you'll know you're getting only sound scientific information from me. Now at machinohealth.com you'll see my other research review papers, you see my other downloads and footage from my live professional seminars, other videos I've created, all there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references so you'll know you're getting only sound scientific information from me on any topic that you're looking for. So you should make machinohealth.com an ongoing, reliable wellness resource for both you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching.